Hi guys, my name is Jen. I absolutely love crafting. I absolutely love it during Christmas time. And I'm gonna show you in today's tutorial how to make these. These are so cheap and easy. So I sold these last year, but I used actual vinyl. This time I'm subbing on this and I sold these for $5. You can make this whole thing for under 50 cents and I'm gonna show you how, so you have to stay tuned till the end. All right, so I'm starting in design space. I'm gonna go to my upload button and I'm gonna find these images. So I'm gonna go to view all and all these images that I have here, I actually purchased from the dollar bundle deals from design bundles. So these are ones that I specifically picked up to make these with. So your naughty little poop, <laughs> um, wish you nothing but Merry Christmas. Um, these are really cute. So I got all of these and I thought they were really cute. So I'm actually going to grab every one of these. So if you're not um, familiar with the dollar deals from Design Bundles, if you always, if you come to my channel and you check out the community section, every time there's a dollar deal going on, I post about it. It's something that you do not want to miss because like I said, you can get all of these for a buck a piece. And I even save more money because I use Honey. It's just an extension on Firefox that I have. And every time I buy something online, it takes off money. I'm not promoting it or anything. I'm just saying if you want to earn, save some extra money, it's definitely something to look into. So what I'm doing is I'm just making these a little bit smaller so we could see each one here that we're going to be working with and just get a better idea of what they're going to look like. So there are quite a few, but with Honey, I was able to send, save um, 15 cents on each one of these. Doesn't sound like a lot, but from a dollar going to 85 cents per one, I love saving money. So that's an extra way to be able to do that. So if you're interested in it, I will leave a link down below. You can sign up under me and you'd help me save even more money. So I would appreciate that if you're not already a user, I would appreciate it if you would do it under my name. So going forward with this, these are the ones that I'm going to be using. Basically, the only thing I want to do with this is I'm going to shrink my screen since there are so many of these. Um, and I'm trying to get as many as I can because when I print this off, it's going to put hopefully three on a page. So I'm trying to cut out as many as I possibly can. Um, I'm still new to subbing. So if you guys know something that I don't know or you know if I'm doing something improper, please let me know. I'm not a type of person that's going to take anything badly. So if I'm doing something and I can improve it or I can help others, please do let me know. I am brand new to subbing, so this is kind of new to me as well, but I'm just kind of teaching you guys as I go along. So with that being said, the toilet paper I'm actually using, I bought from Dollar General and trying to find one really quick. It is uh, called Smart and Simple Bath Tissue. It's a dollar for six rolls. Granted, these rolls are not that big, but still, you know, it's a buck for six rolls. You can't go wrong. To make this whole project, it cost under 50 cents. And last year, I did sell these with actual vinyl, not subbing on it, and I sold mine for $5 a piece. So you're going to be making about $4.50 on each one that you sell. If you choose to go the route, pay $5 a piece. So the only thing I want to do is change the size on here. And I know mine's roughly going to be three by three. So I don't really want to go over that size. And you want to always check the size of your rolls because they could be different than mine. So I don't want you to do three by three. And then you're like, oh, it didn't fit mine or it was too small. So I always want to make sure that you're getting the right size for it. So I'm just going to take each one of these and kind of look because my screen is shrunk. I'm at 75%. It's going to look a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go up here actually and change this to be three and I'm automatically going to leave this locked here because I don't want to skew it at all. So if I go back, I'm going to show you the full screen here. This is going to be a lot bigger. So it's a lot bigger than what it looked like before. Um, I'm actually going to do these, I think it was four by four. So I think I'm actually going to change this to be four just to make it a little bit bigger and get the most out of each one. So again, I didn't unlock it. I'm just leaving it because if I do four by four, it's going to skew it and it's not going to look good. I just want to make sure I'm not going over the four by four here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do each one of these, just change them each to four. And again, please go and measure your um, toilet paper, as funny as that sounds. 
because I don't want to tell you one thing and then you go and do it and you're like, yeah, it was too small. So I'm going to shrink my screen again so we can see all these. This one's finished. This one's done. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. You guys don't have to watch me do this, but this is just how I'm going to be doing it. Oh, see example right here. So this is four and I went over to the height is 4.421. Too high. It's not going to fit. So this case, I actually am going to unlock it and shrink it up a little bit because I do not want to go over that four by four. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all all of these but in case you get something like that just make sure that you're checking each one all right so I'm done with all of these perfect size what I want I'm gonna go into each one and push flatten and that's gonna print then cut so you see it changes on the side here so here's this one here so I'm gonna push flatten as you see it changes on here and it changes it to print then cut so if you look how it looks here and then once I push flatten it changes it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each one of these all right, so now I have them all done. I have them uh, flattened, so it's going to print, then cut. I have it all the size I want. I'm going to go to make it. Then hopefully I'm going to get two to three images off each piece of paper, so we will see. Okay, so I'm going to get two. All right, so here, guys, is where I struggle. If somebody knows, please let me know if I'm missing something or doing something wrong. I know that the black marks here, that Cricut is going to read this when it cuts it out. The issue I've been having previously is it would cut out each piece like this, like the eyes separately, the mouth separately, snowman separately. It would cut all this out individually. I'm having a problem with that, and I'm not sure if you guys can help me. So what I've been doing is taking this, bringing it down a little bit just so I can actually have this printed out on my piece of paper, but then I take a scissors and I just cut it out and get rid of the black lines and all that. So I just take this part right here, I'll cut it out after it's done printing and put it on the toilet paper itself. So what I'm using actually is I just purchased a new EcoTank. It's the EcoTank 2803 and it works really well you just have to make sure that you change uh, don't actually put in the regular ink that comes with it but you have to purchase um, subbing ink so make sure that you do that so if anybody knows what I'm missing here please do let me know this is how I do it I just separate it a little bit here so I could take my scissors and cut in between if somebody knows an easier way please let me know that the uh, so that Cricut will be able to cut it out for me but that's what I'm doing with each one of these whoop this one got three on here so I'm just gonna make a little bit of space for each one the other thing that you have to do is mirror your image on each one of these because when you're using HTV or when you're ironing anything on you always want to make sure that you mirror your image so I want to do that too then I'm going to go and cut this out so I'm gonna click continue and I'm gonna send it to the printer so then it's gonna send it to whatever printer you have on here on file so I'm gonna select my printer and I'm gonna print this out and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like after it's done printing so I'm gonna click it here I'm gonna show you really quick so this is my new one that I have and when I have this on I always turn this off um, I've tried it a couple different times it just it makes it look a lot better so try it one way try it without but I always take the bleed off on here I'm gonna be using my hippo subbing paper and um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like after it's done printing all right so I have something I want to tell you guys so I actually did a video on this and I was going to leave it as it was but I want to be honest with you guys and um, let you guys know a few things so when I was already doing this I had parchment paper down and I wanted to show you the design actually goes right through my toilet paper Paper onto the parchment paper unfortunately it went on to my actual heat press here that I'm using um, so please when you're using a heat press an iron an easy press a mini press whatever you're using please put something down besides your Teflon paper um, because it will go through so I'm just wanted to be honest with you guys it's right there so you can see it so I'm actually gonna turn this I have my part my um, Teflon paper down and then I'm gonna put actually um, a piece of parchment paper but another thing really quick like it whoops all right I'll get a new one like I said I wanted to be honest with you I already did this video and I tried something that I had read and it really does work a lot better okay so I have two done right here the same images same toilet paper same temperature same uh, pressure everything so I don't know how well it shows up on camera but right here you can see it didn't really work as well and the color is not as vibrant right here as you can see up here um, Please take this at your own risk. This is why I was really thinking if I should say anything or not, but I'm telling you to learn with me. So this one, I did not use hairspray. This one, I used hairspray. I know it sounds funny 
especially with heat. That's why I was kind of, should I say something or not? But realistically, if you want something to look better, this is the one with the heat. This is the one without. This one does not look as nice. I actually did a few other ones before I even tried the hairspray. I don't know how well it's showing up, but this is not vibrant at all. I'm actually going to be taking this off and starting over. Um, so take it at your own risk. I'm just warning you, it's hairspray, you have heat, so just be very, very careful. With that being said, I'm using my heat press right here. Here are my files that I cut out. Um, like I said, I printed this out on the Hippo subbing paper. came out really pretty, so your colors are not going to be as vibrant until you actually use heat on it. So this is what they look like. I cut out the black bars and I'm sorry I don't have it because like I said I already did a video on this but I trashed it to give you guys the option to try the hairspray so this is what they look like if you guys know please share with me because I'm new to subbing how to get Cricut to cut them out individually like this I get the black lines around it when I print but then when I use Cricut it cuts out each piece so this nose would cut out the little black um, would cut out here. The words would cut out. It wouldn't cut out this whole file. So the way I did it is I just printed it out two on each paper and I cut it out with the scissors by myself. So I'm going to show you really quick how to do this. Like I said, up to you. Please, if something happens, don't hold me liable for this. I'm just telling you what I read and what I've tried. I've done a few without the hairspray and it really does not turn out very well. So I'm just using some parchment paper. I don't want to ruin my um, <laughs> Teflon any more than I already did. So I laid this down. I have my heat press set at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I take Dollar Tree. This is actually Dollar General. I'll show you the bag really quick. It's kind of ripped open, but you get the gist. It's Dollar General toilet paper. I get six rolls for a dollar. What I do is open it up, rip the sticky part off so you start brand new, flip it upside down, and then go in a few squares and then lay it down. So realistically, I wanna do like the first or second square. So I'm gonna lay that one down. I'm gonna get another one on here as well, like this one. This one didn't turn out as well either, so I'm actually gonna rip this one off as well and start new and try the hairspray. Oops, one thing before you wanna do this, and I'm gonna do it away from the camera so it's not going by my heat press, is actually put hairspray on it. So again, do at your own risk, it's just regular hairspray. I'm gonna hold it away from my heat press and I'm just gonna spray down one side. Not a lot, not getting it wet, just a few sprays. Like I said, I'm sorry I have to do it off camera, but I'm not doing it around my heat press. I'm gonna take this one and just do the same thing. I'm just gonna spray lightly and then I'm gonna put it on here again. I'm warning you to do this at your own risk because it is heat and hairspray and heat do not get along. So I'm going to take my file. I'm going to do a different one. I'm going to do this one and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So obviously it's backwards because when you do it, you want to have it um, mirrored. So you make sure you put it on correctly. Put it wherever you want on your piece of toilet paper. And to be honest with you, I even cut this too big. So do not go off of what I say because your toilet paper could be a different size than mine. So I'm gonna do the same thing, take this one, flip it, and put it on here. Again, a little bit too big for it, but live and learn, right? I'm gonna take another piece of parchment paper, and I'm gonna lay this over it. Again, if you have a heat press, if you have an easy press, whatever you have, you're gonna to wanna to do this because you don't want that ink to bleed through. Again, I have my heat press set at 400 for 60 seconds. I'm gonna push this down and I wanna say heat press because I had easy presses. I have these little, I'll show you really quick. I have two of these little guys and by the time you hold it down on there, it's, it just takes forever. So I just have those in my drawer. I love my heat press. I've had this for over two and a half years now. I absolutely love it. Have never had an issue with it and um, just really highly recommend it. So if you're looking for something, I would suggest this. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but this is the one I've had for the last two and a half years and I absolutely love it. It's a fancier studio, it's a 15 by 15. The price fluctuates. I got mine for I think 150. I think I've seen it for like 200 now. So if you're interested, just I will leave a link down below in case you're interested in it. But I do have 16 seconds left. I'm gonna let this go and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so it's done, I'm gonna lift this up. And I'm going to carefully 
take all this off because it is at three, 400 degrees. So I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to take this off. Oh yeah, that's definitely much better. So you're going to want to throw this out because you can't use it more than once. Your ink is already transferred. Hot. So just be careful. Oh yeah, that is, yeah, honestly, a lot, a lot, a lot better. So I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'll show you the bottom too because actually, like I said, it bled right through. I think it's because my toilet paper is very thin. But that is much better. I don't know if I have one already. I don't. I already tore it off, but it was not as vibrant as this. This is much, much better. So to finish it off, you just want to take a piece of glue or a piece of tape, whatever, even like a glue dot, and stick it there so it stays in place. And then at the end of this, I will show you what I do with it. I just take a dollar store bag, put it in there. But I sell these. I sold these last year for $5, but I put vinyl on it. This honestly cost me under 50 cents from start to finish buying the toilet paper, the trans or the hippo subbing paper, and yeah, the bag. So it's it's under 50 cents to make this. So if I sell these, I make $4.50 on it. It's really awesome because it really doesn't take that long. So there's that one, and I'm going to wrap this one up, and I'm going to show you this one. But definitely the hairspray, honestly, it worked a lot better. But again, at your own risk, don't put it by any heat. But this is what this looks like. And then I'll show you the bottom. So it went right through again. There you go. So you always want to make sure you put one on the top and the bottom. Really important because you don't want to ruin your heat press or whatever you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest up that I have here. But this is what they look like. And then this one. So it's definitely um, a lot more vibrant. I do on this one see a little bit of shadowing. So I think when I pulled my heat press up, I moved some of the, I moved the paper. So you have to be careful with that, that you grab your paper right away. But don't reuse it after you're done. This one did, did just fine. You can see there's no shadowing or anything on this one. So I'm going to finish these up. That was just how to do it. Again, if you want to use a hairspray, go ahead and do it. But just be very, very careful. So I'm going to finish mine up, and then I'll show you what they look like when they're all finished and packaged. These are really simple to make. It costs under 50 cents to make them, so you're going to use this smart uh, toilet paper from Dollar General. It was a dollar for six of these, so I normally sell these for $5 a piece. It took me about 50 cents to make it from start to finish, so you're going to make $4.50 on each one that you sell if you choose to go the route of subbing on it and selling it for $5. I just bought some bags from the Dollar Tree. I think there was like 50 bags in here um, for a dollar, and then the tissue and then the subbing paper. I wanted to show you really quick the subbing paper that I did actually end up using. This is from Hippo. I have a bunch of stuff from Hippo. I absolutely love their brand. I love their products. Everything that they sent me to try out, I absolutely love. So if you need subbing paper, I would suggest this. This is what I used in today's video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, but hit that subscribe button and leave me some comments and let me know how I'm doing. Happy holidays and happy crafting.